24-year-old man says he was attacked by a group of teenagers. He claims it happened after they tried to cut in front of him inside the store and there was an argument. He says he left the store, then was ambushed when he walked out. We're blurring all the faces because they're juveniles, but if you know anything about this incident, call the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Police are on the hunt for a man who attacked a 92-year-old woman in Manhattan. Video shows the suspect walking down 3rd Avenue in Gramercy Park when he suddenly pushed the woman and kept walking. That push caused the woman to fall on the ground and hit her head on a fire hydrant. The woman fortunately expected to recover. This vicious assault caught on camera is now leading to severe charges. Once we gathered the evidence and we saw the Macy's internal video, there was no doubt in my mind that a crime was committed. Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton is charging 18-year-old Demire Palmer for assaulting a Macy's manager in Flint Township last week, saying the attack is a felony punishable by up to 10 years. He also says, despite rumors of the manager uttering a racial slur, that this was not the case and believes that the attack was unprovoked basically sucker punched the store manager from behind, knocked him to the floor. We have no evidence of uh, provocation of him uttering any racial slur whatsoever. Layton says the individual recording the video, DeMarquay Palmer, is not being charged, determining at this point in time that no crime was committed. But he says the actions of DeMire Palmer were unjustified. Violence is never the answer unless you are in imminent danger of death or great bodily harm yourself or a loved one. Otherwise, there is no defense. In Flint Township, Jonathan Jackson, WNEM TV5. Thirty-year-old Steve Sinclair is now charged with attempted murder and bias-motivated crime. A victim tells Aurora police Sinclair shouted Black Lives Matter before stabbing him. He had serious injuries, including a collapsed lung. Witnesses tell police they saw Sinclair stabbing the victim as he tried to run away. The first officer on scene says Sinclair approached him saying Black Lives Matter, calling himself a psychopath and also saying he was the stabber. He eventually was arrested without a struggle. Katie Johnston covering Colorado first. A 
According to the victim's family, the shooting here on the canal started with an argument over race. Eventually, the two sides separated and walked away from each other until witnesses claim the killer opened fire from a nearby bridge and then ran away. An argument over Black Lives Matter and language led to a confrontation and eventually gunfire early Sunday morning. It was squashed. They went up the hill left and uh, thought they left, but they were just sitting on St. Clair Street and waiting for us to come under the bridge. And that's when she's got shot. Jose admits he returned fire but didn't hit anyone and says his fiance, Jessica Doty Whitaker, leaves behind a little boy. His dad, Austin Hennett, was inside when he heard the gunshot. I just scooped him up in my arms and held him and held him and I screamed and somebody help me play, please help me save my son. God, save my son, please. Hennett looked up and saw his neighbor in the yard next door, gun in hand, pacing frantically. I, I was looking at him as I was picking up Cannon and I was so full of rage, but I couldn't leave my son's side. I just wanted to be with my son. Hennett's fiance called 911. He says his neighbor, 25-year-old Darius Sessoms, who lived with his parents, soon drove away. Police arrested Sessoms the next day, charging him with murder. An Andrews woman lost her husband and her daughter after a shooting here at 521 and Indian Hut Road near Andrews. After 5 p.m. Monday, a traffic accident happened, then an altercation, and three people were shot. Two later died. The third victim, a man who stopped to help, survived. The suspect ran into the woods. Taishim Hashin Walters of Monk's Corner was arrested for the murders. They both meant so much to so many people. 45-year-old Nick Hall and his stepdaughter, 21-year-old Laura Anderson, died at the hospital. It's a real thing, bro. Come on now. Yeah, I, know. Shit up. I know. I know. I ain't trying something? to hurt no one down there. What you mean you're not trying to hurt nobody, nigga? You was you just shut the, the fuck up, nigga. You was fucking bad. You not going for it, nigga? Fuck is you talking about? You ain't right here. Bitch, fuck is you talking about? Fuck is you talking about? You weren't trying to hurt nobody, nigga. Fuck this nigga. Not you. Fuck this nigga, bro. I ain't trying to hurt nobody, nigga. The fuck you doing, bro? Nigga, wash the fuck out. Wash the fuck out, nigga. Fuck is you? Fuck is you talking about? You weren't trying to hurt nobody, nigga. Fuck is you talking chill, about, chill, nigga? Chill, chill, Watch out, chill, chill, chill. Fuck is you chill. Hey, chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill. chill. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Chill, chill. Bitch! Fuck is you talking chill, about, nigga? Chill. That's on me, nigga. No, fuck that. I ain't going nowhere, nigga. Yeah! Nigga, fight! Nigga, fight! Nigga, fight! Nigga, fight! Hey, back up, boy. I'm going to fuck no more. Nigga, fight! Nigga, fight! Nigga, fight! Nigga, fight! Nigga, fight! Police make an arrest in a chilling crime caught on camera in Manhattan. Disturbing video shows a man try to rape a woman on a subway platform. Investigators say the man who pushed a woman to the ground and tried to rape her around 11 a.m. yesterday is 31-year-old Jose Reyes of the Bronx. Reyes is accused of following the 25-year-old off the F train before attacking her on the platform at the Lexington Avenue 63rd Street station. Police say bystanders saw what was happening and stepped in. So some Good Samaritans uh, to pulled out the, the video to capture his face, which was very instrumental in us being able to identify him. Uh, a couple of the Samaritans uh, started screaming at him to get off her, and uh, I think that was also uh, helpful in scaring him away. Police arrested Reyes just after midnight near Lexington Avenue and 105th Street after a Crime Stoppers tip. He now faces charges of rape, assault, and harassment. Investigators say they used facial recognition to identify Reyes, who also has 14 prior arrests.
Police say a stabbing suspect targeted a Columbus store worker because of his race. Authorities arrested 19 year old Javon Hatchett for what they say was an unprovoked attack against a worker at AutoZone. Police Sergeant R.S. Mills testified that Hatchett admitted to stabbing the employee. Mills says Hatchett told him he did because he, quote, felt the need to find a white male to kill. Mills testified Hatchett said he wanted to kill a white man because of police brutality against African Americans. Hatchett is being held in jail without bond. Target Field Plaza start punching a man, then jumping on him, stripping off his pants and stealing from his pockets, throwing a potted plant on him, then running him over with a bicycle. Run. Oh! Run. Oh! Run. Oh! 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 Oh